Well, aviation started for me uh, at the end of the war. My uncle came home and he flew during the war. He was an instructor. He also f flew in a B-17, I believe. And just hearing him talk about it, also, uh, he, this is in Mariposa, California, a little town up north, and uh, he had a little flight school there for a while and taught my dad how to fly. And, you know, all of that activity got me going. I think I was nine years old or something like that. And, uh, and so as soon as I became of age, I joined the Air National Guard and, and uh, tried to get involved in, in the flying program. And so when I turned 19, they sent me to cadet school. When I got out of the Air Force and back to the Air National Guard, I went back to college. At that time, you didn't have to have a degree to be a pilot. And so uh, this was in Ontario, California. I've, uh, they had F-86s there, and, and I wanted to fly something a little stronger. So Tucson, Arizona, had got F-100s in the Guard. So I transferred to Tucson and then went to college at the University of Arizona. When I finished the college there, uh, actually I didn't finish, I had two courses left, but I came back to California because there was no work for engineers. I had a mechanical engineering degree. So I came back to California in the Guard. Uh, interesting story there about flying, but at any rate, uh, I went to night school and uh, uh, finished my degree and then uh, got the degree from Arizona. When I got back to California, they had F-86Ds, I think, which is a radar version. And I'd flown the F-86A and the F-100, but they sent me to ground school. And they said, this is a very difficult airplane to fly. You really got to be careful. And it's complicated. And I never flew it. Uh, I went through all this rigmarole, and, and finally, uh, I went to work for Lockheed, and so I didn't. I just dropped out of the guard. The interesting part about it is later on, Lockheed sent me over to Italy for six months to fly test flights on the 104. And and uh, anyway, when I was over there, I was flying test flights and uh, checking out their pilots. And uh, the uh, they said y you're goofing off here. You have to fly uh, chess or chase plane and target plane once in a while, and they had F-86 L's, which is just like the D, except it had uh, guns instead of rockets. So I said, well, I've never flown the, that, you know, it's a complicated airplane. They said, so they went out and started the airplane for me, and I took off and flew it. So it couldn't have been that complicated. <laughs> Kind of, but let me back up a little. When I uh, was f trying to fly in the Guard, uh, one of the Guard pilots got a job at, at Lockheed, and they were flying, test flying 104s. So I went out to Palmdale and went into the uh, production pilot's office and said, you know, I'd like to fly for you guys, because I had heard they were looking for a pilot. And they said, okay, here's, I gave my resume, and they said, we'll contact you. And, I drove back down to Burbank or wherever I lived, and then uh, I went up the next day and said, uh, have you had a chance to look at the resume? And what do you think? And he said, oh, we'll, we'll contact you. And so I drove home, and then I drove back the next day and <laughs> said, have you had a chance? And you know, what's going on? And I think out of self-defense, they just hired me. <laughs> so anyway, I was flying 104s, and I flew them for a year, and then they sent me to Italy, and then uh, I came home and the, the, the 104 program was dying out and so uh, they didn't have a job for me. So they sent me to the test pilot school. And I went to the test pilot school for what, six months at Edwards and then got out and I was getting laid off. So. I got a job in San Diego on some experimental program. And uh, before I took the job, I got a call. I was checking out a Lockheed, turning in my flight suit and a helmet and all that stuff. And as I got to uh, uh, 
on a Friday afternoon and everything was checked out, I got a phone call from a fellow named Lou Shock, and I'd never met him. And I said, uh, he said, would you like to come and work for me? And I said, well, what will I be flying? And he said, uh, I can't tell you. I said, when do I start? <laughs>